formula again. I just dug it out from a whole bunch of snow to pull it in here so we can try and fix it. And I say try to fix it because honestly, I have no idea how to fix this, but we're gonna give it a go. If you saw my last video, then you know that, oh boy, my tachometer in this car does not really work that well. It kind of just goes all the way up here whenever the car is on. Um, I already replaced the tack filter and that didn't do anything, but uh, I'll just show you guys. Yeah, it just stays up there. It doesn't move with RPM or anything because it'll just stay right there. So a few people that I showed this to actually said it could be the tech board. Um, they said they had a similar problem to it and they just replaced the whole board and it seemed to fix it. So that is why I got this right over here, which is a whole nother gauge cluster. A new tack board can cost between 50 and 70 bucks. And uh, I just had this at my friend's house and I thought might as well throw one of these ones in so I don't have to pay anything. Uh, because if it's not the problem, I don't really want to waste, you know, 50 to 70 bucks. But yeah, I have never really taken one of these gauge clusters apart before. Um, so this is going to be new to me, but I am willing to learn. So we're going to tear into it and see what's involved in changing this. I think what I'm going to do first is tear this one apart because it's already out of the car. And if I mess it up, oh well, I'm still at my starting point. So I'm going to tear this one apart and see what's inside and see how to take the tack board off. And we will go from there. 12 seconds later. Well, that wasn't too bad. So after you take this cover off, oh, it goes this way. You can just, there's a couple of screws that hold this on, which they weren't on here. So I can just take this off. And then behind here, what holds on the actual gauge and the board, um, there's these little screws right here which are 730 seconds there's only two but i think there's a third one that goes here i could be wrong and then there's one that's a quarter which is right here which doesn't come all the way out which i think is probably for a ground or a power or something but that one went right there it doesn't look in awful shape so i think i can just throw it in the car and uh we'll see if it does anything uh maybe i can look at that one see if there's any noticeable differences i don't know maybe a resistor or Whatever these are called, I don't really know what they're called. Maybe one of those is burnt out. I honestly have no idea, so I'm just going to try and throw this in and see if it does anything. So now I'm going to tear this gauge cluster out, which should not be too bad. I've done this a few times, so uh, it should be pretty easy. There's just a few bolts all around here, a couple covers to take off, and the whole thing just comes right out. So I'll probably put you on a tripod, and uh, we'll meet up after I have that out. First, we gotta just take this little covering off for the gauge surround, which is just a star bit. Now that should come right off. And now, we are opened to this plastic covering, which does not want to come off because I got to take this whole piece that goes around off, I think. All right, now with that out, we are exposed to the actual plastic covering, which is held in with those 730 seconds bolts, I believe. Now with that off, we're exposed to our actual gauges. So this black piece just comes right off just like the other one, and then it should be the same kind of thing. We just have our 730 seconds bolts right here and our other one that's down here. That there you go. 
All right, I think I was wrong when I say that I had to take off this quarter one down here. I believe that this one um, just slides into this slot down here and it tightens against the actual board. So I think that that actually has to stay tight and you just pull that out. Um, probably makes a ground or something on here. Yeah, it's a ground, it says it right there. So is that, that guy just has to stay tight so you don't have to take this one off, you just have to pull it out. All right, so with them side by side, I really do not see any differences, but who knows? Like I said, maybe one of these things is burnt out in here or there's a cold solder joint or something like that. So I'm gonna go and put this new one in. Uh, not really new one, actually. Looks older. This is actually a bit more faded on the needle, but maybe if it does work, I'll take it back out and I'll find a way to switch the needles because this one is definitely a lot lighter shade than these two, but Oh well, we'll make it, we'll, we can deal. If this works, we'll, we'll see. So installation is the exact opposite. You just kind of push this down in and uh, you can see there's all these on the back that um, should go into here. So I'm gonna go ahead, do that, and we're gonna go and get ready to throw it back into the car. It's a little tricky. You have to try and line everything up and then push it down in just like that. I think that's it. Just like that, that should be reinstalled. Want to see something funny that I found? So this is a manual, so it has the shift light, as you can see, but it never has been coming on, and I didn't really know why, but in here, that's the shift light spot, there is no bulb in there at all. So I think that's why, because when this guy goes on just like this, that spot is empty. So I'm going to find a bulb and put it in there, and uh, hopefully... That should solve that problem, and then that should work. All right, it's all back together. So let's go throw it back into the car and see if it actually works. Okay, I have everything thrown back in very temporarily. I have like one of these bolts holding the entire gauge cluster on, but I should have everything hooked back up. I have the plug that goes into the bottom of here. I have the plug that goes back down here for the speedometer, I think. Actually, I think this one's for the speedometer down here. I have the other one that's plugged in back here too. And then I have the one that's plugged in over on this side. So I think that's everything that you need, but we'll, we'll see. So uh, moment of truth, I guess. And look at that. It's actually doing something. That's awesome. So that actually worked. All right, so now that this actually works, I'm gonna go back in and actually put this back in so it doesn't rattle all around and actually finish everything up. Um, I did find this plug underneath there, which I don't really know what it goes to. Um, I kind of looks like it could be for the trunk pop, but this car never had one, but it does have the plug on the actual back over here. Like the deck lid still has a plug that goes into it, so I don't really know what that's for. It could be a remote trunk popper, but I don't really know. So I do have an extra button over in the red car. For when I did that actual USB thing, I have an extra one of these with a trunk pop, so maybe I'll throw it in, uh, see if it lines up, and um, see if it works. That'd be kind of cool if it did. All right, so I went and grabbed the trunk button, and you can see that the tabs actually line up for where it would go. So I think that this is what it's for, but we're gonna try it out. I'm just gonna throw it in and uh, see if that works. Cause I only have one trunk key. So if I ever lock my keys in my trunk, that would be very unfortunate. Well, the gauge cluster is back in mostly all the way. I have it all firm in here. I'm very happy that the tack works. I threw this button on and uh, plugged this in. I went and checked it and uh, it doesn't work, unfortunately. So I don't really know why that is. Maybe that's not what that plugs for or I don't, honestly don't really know. If you guys know why that doesn't really work, uh, leave a comment. I would love to get that to work because I only have one key. I don't know if maybe it's a fuse or maybe I need to add something in since this car didn't originally have it. I really don't know. So uh, yeah, if you know anything about that, leave a comment below and uh, I'll make sure to look at it. 
But yeah, that really wraps up today's video. So I guess if your Fiero is having any tack problems where it goes all the way up or doesn't really work, then this is a good place to uh, look, go and replace the tack board. I'm very happy that I had one of these readily available that I could do for free. And now I have a working tack and I should have the working shift light because I did put the light bulb in there. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. So see you later.